Welcome back to the All Seasons channel. Hey, don't forget to give this video a like, uh, comment, uh, subscribe. Uh, all that stuff makes makes us YouTubers feel all warm and fuzzy inside. So uh, please please do this for us. And uh, uh, today we're working on a furnace and a travel trailer. It's 80 degrees outside, and I'm working on a furnace. But hey, I've done crazier things. Um, lady says the furnace makes a noise. As you can hear, it is definitely making a noise. Would be my guess that uh, something has come loose inside. Uh, one of the fans have come loose or something. So um, we're gonna, we're probably gonna have to just pull the furnace all the way out and disassemble it and see what the noise is. So I'll take you along. Of course, the first thing that I've done was turn the gas off that is always numero uno and I've uh, moved my lapel mic down away from my face a little bit hopefully it won't pick up all my heavy breathing because I'm telling you I know y'all getting tired of it because I was getting tired of listening to me breathe heavy when I was editing video so hopefully uh, hopefully that helped or maybe I, I just I might have to quit breathing I, I don't know if if that's what I got to do to make you people happy, I'll just I'll just quit breathing. No, I'm not going to do that. I don't think it's what y'all want, is it? Well, maybe some of you do. You know, when you're in business for yourself, one of the first things. One well, of the first things you learn is you can't make everybody happy and not everybody's going to like you. And you know what? That actually works both ways. So, but I have, I've, I've always told people my entire career that I have the best customers in the world. And I do. I honestly believe that because... 99 out of 100 people that I run across are just the best people in the world. So, let me see here. So, we're going to go in here. Let me pull you guys out a little bit. We're going to go in here and get the, get the end plate off of this furnace. So, because there's probably a couple of screws that hold the furnace in behind that. See if I can get me and you guys and gals in here without bumping the camera and causing an earthquake. Camera. Without bumping the camera and causing an earthquake. Cameron is not with me today. So I have no camera in the cameraman. Uh, I thought actually it was going to rain. Uh all day long and I oh another earthquake sorry yeah I thought it was gonna rain all day and uh, rain me out and I was uh actually looking forward to that I got I got a couple things I need to do to my van I worked in the office for a couple of hours this morning I've been trying to get some quotes on some parts and I had been severely unsuccessful till today got that done and uh, then this emergency came up furnace is not the emergency it was some other stuff I done to this uh, done to this lady's camper I know you can't see, but there's, well, I can't see either. Where's the hole? There's two screws that hold the, hold the furnace down. Wowzer. Struggle's real, folks. Struggle's real. Okay. Okay. Let's 
spider webs all over me now. Okay, so we got the got the screws out of the back of the furnace. Now we're gonna get the gas line off. Get the uh, gotta go around the other side. Get the gas line off and get the wiring undone. Pull this bad boy out. Disassembled a little bit. And see what the heck all that noise is. All right, first thing we're gonna do is get our gas line loose. We always use our biker wrench. Don't just go torquing on them gas lines. Probably not in this situation, but there's a lot of situations where you could do a, do a lot of damage inside your propane appliance if you just go torquing on that stuff. So we're gonna let that little bit of gas escape. And I'm already seeing something. Uh, I see a lot of mouse evidence. Can uh, can you guys see over there? Oh. Right in there, that hole in the wall. There's a bunch of insulation pulled out of there in little bitty clumps, like mice do when they build a nest. So I wonder if we have a mouse nest inside this furnace. Definitely wouldn't be the first one I've ever seen. Definitely won't be the last one, I bet you. Snippy. Snippy. Snippy and snippy. Now I'll wire nut them back together. When we go back. So there we go. Now, you guys and gals watch right there while I go around here and uh, pull that furnace out. We'll see if we can give birth to a furnace today. All right, Mom RV, time to push. Push, 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 push. Push, push, push. Push, push, push. I'm wiggling. You push. Come on, Mama. Oh, oh, good job, Mama. Let's see. We're crowning. It's crowning. I see the head. I see the head. Oh. And we have a we have a furnace. Great job, Mama RV. Great job. Alrighty. That was an easy berth. Now I'm gonna take it outside and pull it out of the case and see what I see. How much how many how many people want to take the bet? It's a mouse nest. I don't know, man. I'm a little bit iffy. It didn't really sound like an out-of-balance fan. It really sounded like something loose. So we're going to find out here in just a minute. Man, I'm sweating. It's hard to believe I'm working on a furnace today. All right, the furnace comes out the front of the case. There's a little screw right here down low in the center that you got to get out so you can get to the internal part of the furnace out of the case and we're gonna have to uh we're gonna straighten that case out a little bit you mean you talking about sharp and that's gonna grab it's gonna grab our furnace when it comes out too just gonna take a pair of pliers and straighten that out some that's a lot man it's man it's got a sharp point on it how about ruining your day man that would definitely ruin your day all right we got that one screw out we got the case straightened out somewhat and the furnace just slipped right out of here sometimes they slip easier than others sometimes they fight y'all away this one's this one was easy peasy uh-oh who had money on the mouse nest well whoever had the money on the mouse nest you're uh you're somewhat correct. Uh, we happen to have a, I don't know whether it's Mickey or Minnie. Hope you can see. He's kind of stuck uh, between the squirrel cage fan and the case. If that's Mickey, then this must be Minnie up here that got roasted. Um, so yeah, uh, I bet you we get Mickey or Minnie out of here and our fan will sound much better 
Uh, just gonna grab him with a pair of pliers, I think. Um, now you know what? I'm probably just gonna take take this cover off and grab the and grab the uh, crispy one. Oh yeah. Anybody liked her mice? Well done. This one's well done. Uh, that one down there, it might be medium, if that's how you prefer your mice. Uh, we're just going to bury him right here. Bye, buddy. Hope you had a good life. Now I'm going to take his cover off this uh, squirrel cage fan. Silly mice. I don't know why they play in the squirrel cage fans all the time, but they do. And uh, get him out of there. All right, there's just four Phillips screws hold this cover on on this fan. So we're gonna get those bad boys out. Release Mickey, or Minnie, whichever the case may be. I don't know. Could be either one. I'm not gonna check the sex of it. I'm just gonna get it out of there and hopefully make our furnace work with a whole lot less noise. Now, I know I said four, but this uh, this is an update on this furnace. It's got a little bracket over here on the end, a little triangular shaped bracket that uh, makes everything a little more rigid. So you gotta get that, you gotta get that out of your way too. And our cover comes off after we snap that wire out of the holder. And see how many. We got a little bit of stuff on our on our cell switch. That that would have had an effect. We're gonna reach in here at the pliers. And uh, get this guy out. He's a uh, and I'll tell you what, he's roughed up now. We're gonna we're gonna bury him right beside his mate over. Here. Yay! There you go. There's a there's a there's some DNA in that fan, but see, there's a little DNA inside that fan, but it's pretty evenly distributed. Should not cause it to be out of balance. And to be honest with you. I mean, you could probably scrub on that thing for an hour and there'd still be mouse DNA <laughs> stuck to it. So uh, I'm just going to put it back together. We're going to test run it here on the back of the truck and see if she's a lot quieter and see if it lights and we're going about our business. Easy peasy. We got our six screws back, four in the cover and the two extra in the plate. Now we are I say we, I guess all of us. We're, gonna, we're doing this together, right? Oh, we're gonna get some wire strippers. Tell you what, I have had some very, very pitiful wire strippers in my life. But I'm telling you what, these right here. This is probably the nicest wire stripper I've ever had. Um, it's Klein, not a sponsor. Um, the only number I see it on it is a 1001. I don't know if that means anything, but I'm telling you what now. I love this configuration with the cutter on the end, your crimpers, and then your strippers. I love that configuration, and this. This is probably the best set of crimpers I've had in my 25 year career. Love these things, man. If you're watching Klein Tools, uh, I wouldn't be against having sponsors. 
subscribers. I know. I've got like 300 subscribers right now. But hey, I strive to do a lot better than that someday. Before I even put the furnace back in the case, we're going to just go ahead and test run it. I've got some DC power right here on the back of my, my van so I can uh, test run this, these furnaces and things here. So we're going to hook up our ground. We're going to hook up our power. And we are going to twist the two blue wires together. Fan should come on there in a, just a few seconds, and hopefully it's going to be a whole lot quieter. See what happens. Oh, listen to that. Okay, that sounds good. Now, we're actually going to test fire because I have propane available right here. So we're going to test fire before we put it back. Just unplug the power. Okay, so I got my gas hooked up. Get the power hooked back up. Now I'm gonna just twist these two blue wires together. This thing should fire right up. Uh, listen to that. We have furnace. Yay. All right. We don't need no more heat out here today. So we're gonna let that furnace go through its cool down cycle so that uh, when I pick it up, I won't uh, burn my little digits. And uh, I'm just gonna put it back in there and uh, we're gonna call this one a done deal. Um, it was really noisy, as you heard. Get the mice out and it's not so noisy anymore and it ran on the back of the truck. So we're gonna assume it's gonna run the camper. So I am not gonna take you back in there for the reinstall it's just the exact opposite of taking it out uh, except when we get done we'll spray some soapy water on our gas line make sure we ain't got no leaks and uh, we're gonna go on to the next one that's uh, that's actually the last thing on this lady's list and uh, so hey as always thanks for watching don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe leave me a comment and uh, I'm gonna go down the road and fix another one y'all have a great day